Hello everyone, I am back again today with another uh, process video working on the Wings uh, collection from Lynette at Cheaply Chic. And I was getting ready to do the inside cover, so I thought I would just turn on the camera and let you guys come along with me. I uh, did add that rosette to the top of that tag, which I think is really pretty. So I wanted to show you that. But on the inside cover, what I'm going to do is add uh, part of this vintage um, handkerchief. I had used the other half, as you can see, but I'm gonna cut it um, to fit to where this side hangs off the side and this hangs off the bottom of my end frame, yes. And um, I don't know why, but when I um, started on Lynette's um, design team, I felt like the only thing I could use was um, what was in her kits, and you know, that's just not what she encourages. You know, she's encouraging people to use what they have and to add to her kits, so I don't know why I felt like that, but I just never really added anything except what was in the collection. And so I grabbed some lace that would match, some black and some burgundy, and this pretty fabric which um, Denise sent me. Thank you so much, Denise. And I'm gonna use some of my supplies in here too to show you, you can use things around your house to add in to what she gives you into the collection. Um, or in the collection, I should say. I'm thinking that's, yeah, that's gonna be stick out, okay. So I need to get my um, little board mat thing here. And I am going to use my three in one. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, everything's a little crazy right now. I know um, here in West Virginia, they have closed all of the restaurants except for like drive through. Um, it's just, this whole thing is just, it's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this, I'm gonna start inside here um, and glue this down. I can't even see how much glue I've got. Make sure that's down just a touch. Um, let me see. That's not down enough. I have not worked on this um, journal for a few days because I just could not get inspired at all. And I do not know why. Um, I had to put a couple of my journals up that I was working on. Um, I just couldn't get inspired at all. So today I just kind of sat down and started going through things um, with the kit the collection to see what she had and um, what maybe I could do and just started paper clipping things on the pages and that's kind of how I got some inspiration I hope that's yep make sure that's down what do you guys do when uh, you're not inspired, because I know we all go through it. I've heard many people talk about it, and there's always times that uh, we just kind of lose inspiration. That is a little crooked, but you know what? I don't think I can cut it. Hold that up. I don't think I'll cut this straight, because I can't cut straight for nothing. And I'm working around a tripod. Don't do as I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you do you. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm just going to make a mess, but I need it somewhat straighter than that. Okay, that works. I don't need any more down there. Okay. So, if you can see that, I've got some hanging off this edge and then the bottom, which I think is really pretty, and it kind of pulls out this little piece of crochet there okay so this will house um, a tag of some kind I don't know what tag yet but you know we'll put a tag or whatever in there I do want to put 
some lace and I'm not sure exactly which lace I'm gonna use yet. I don't think I'm gonna use the burgundy, but however, this piece of fabric I am gonna use over here as my fabric flip. I love to do fabric flips or lace flips in my journals and I like to do them in the front, on the front page. And I think that is really pretty beside of the, um, the feathers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my board here, or my mat, because I don't want any, woo, my glue is going everywhere. I don't want any glue to get down uh, on the next pages of any, you know, to make a mess. I glue my pages together, so. Come on. I changed, and I told you this in another video that I changed my set up so you guys could see better but <laughs> trying to work around a tripod is a pain in the rear so i hope that you guys can see better because i'm doing this for you guys because <laughs> i can't work like this i'm getting everything crooked i think i think i just got that crooked let me see yeah it's a little bit crooked let's see if i can move it of course, it's not cut the straightest, but I think. Let me pull this up and turn it this way so I can see. And I can cut off the edge because it's not. Uh, I don't know if I got any down there. There we go. Okay. So now. I can just trim that little piece off right there. I feel like it's not. Let's see if I can pull this up without ripping it. There's like a, it's a golly day, it's sticking. Let me try that again. I don't think I need much. so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, I got that bubble out of there. You probably didn't even see it, but there was like a bubble right there. So there is the fabric flip. This video is gonna be longer than most of my videos because I'm just gonna go ahead and do a few pages. Um, of course, I can't go past. See, now it's laying crooked again. What did I do? That is just frustrating. I think I'm putting it too far up. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So, and right there where I have, if you see that where there's glue, I'll just put a tab there so you won't even know. Of course, it's my journal, but that just shows you how you can fix mistakes. Don't know what tab I'm gonna put there yet because I need to get some more fabric out. So I'm gonna wait on that. Um, there's my, let's see, fabric flip. I've got this and I'll get a um, tag ready for that. Now I need to decide what um, lace I could put here. I could use this black. I could use this. Of course, I can also put this up here, which is what I thought about doing, uh, but I didn't get it straight enough, and you could see that paper behind it, so I'm not gonna do that. I like this black here. This is pretty. That way there's not so much burgundy, it's all the colors on one page. I think I'll do that. So I'm gonna try to get this straight. Let me see if I should cut it first. I can't even reach around. This setup is just horrible for me. <laughs> I'm making all kinds of mistakes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but hopefully you can see it better. So that's what matters really, um, is that you can see it. Let me try. I hope I'm in frame. 
because that would uh, defeat the purpose of you guys seeing it. Now, wouldn't it? Um, the next um, journal that Lynette is sending out, the next collection, I uh, got a peek of it in her group, which um, you can go to Facebook and be a part of her group. It is uh, Cheaply Chic. And, um, oh my word, it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It is stunning and it is me. Oh, it is so me, I cannot wait. So what I'm gonna do, I had decided that the next kit she come out with, I was gonna do some process videos and journal with me so you can see different ways of journaling in these um, uh, notebooks. As a lot of people um, have told me they don't really know how to use these journals. Here I am trying to cut this again. There we go. And so I thought I would show you guys how I use them. And that would give you an idea of how you could use them. And of course, once you see how other people use them, then you kind of take that and make it your own. That's what I did. You know, I watched other people journal and then I still made it my own because you know, everybody does things differently and like things, likes things, you know, different than others. So, there is that pocket. What do you guys think about that? I like the colors. Um, it brings out all the colors in the uh, feathers. I think that's really pretty. I hope you guys can see this. Yep, okay. So then, um, like I said, I'll have to add a tag here. I don't know which tag um, will go there. It could be this one, I'm not sure. And of course I have to um, decorate it, or at least add a topper. I'm not gonna use this. Put that over there for something else. I could use some of this lace. Um, let's see what this would look like like that I like to um, I like to use lace as I told you making my last video when I was struggling with those stupid fibers I had so much trouble with fibers I don't know why but I like to use lace and I think I would like to put something on top of that um, maybe a flower uh, something but I'll have to get my flowers out because I don't know they're right here but that I don't think that one would match. I'd have to see if I had another one because that's white. But you see what I'm talking about? Just adding like a little flower or something right there would be really pretty. Um, but all I have is white right now, white and pink. Because I do almost everything in pink. I have glue all over me. So I would definitely add something here. I just don't know what. But I think that turned out really pretty. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think below. And I'm gonna make a tab for this, but uh, da, 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 don't know what fabric to use. You know, I, you can probably tell that I was not prepared for this video. I just literally turned on my camera and said, let's do this. So that's what I did. And um, usually I have things kind of planned out, but not today. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to turn the camera on and go with it, and, um, you know, why not? You know, I'm human. I make mistakes like everybody else, and if I make mistakes, you'll learn from them, hopefully, so. Uh, works for both of us, right? I'm thinking I'll use this right here. Um... I don't know but that's I could do that right there yeah I think I'll do that um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this around if you're gonna be able to see me or not because I'm sure I've only got one page there I'm going to staple it I don't want to staple my the back page has got that um, tag on it. Okay. There. 
it's cute. I like to have tabs and stuff sticking up. And I think something right here would be pretty too. Um, I like to add buttons and things like that. So let's see what we got here. These are the buttons that I just got from Selena at Amore Fabrics. Ooh, I just remembered I had this button. Oh dear, wouldn't that be pretty? Oh my, oh my, I'm gonna have to use one of these in this journal. That is a beautiful color. I need something smaller for right there though. That's a little, that's too pink, I can't see. Um, look at this big button, goodness. That thing is huge. It's pretty. I haven't really looked at all these. I just ordered a couple different sets of buttons because you know I needed them. <laughs> well, that one matches. Look at that. That's really pretty. How much time do I got left? Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do, that's the same color. Um, I think this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. I need, I've got some thread right here. I'm just gonna pull this up. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Pull it back out. Well, that's still going to do it. I wasn't doing it wrong. My mind is not working today. There we go. And then I'm just going to tie it. So I want the little strings to be at the top. I like that look. So I'm just going to tie it if I can get a hold of it. I'm fumbling all over the place. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut it down. Let's see how far down I want that cut. That's pretty good. Okay, and now I will just put that on right there with some glue. I really hope you guys can see this because I know I'm in camera, I mean I'm in frame, but uh, I'm sorry, I'm fumbling all over the place. It is really hard the way I've got my camera set up so you can see it is really hard for me to work this way. Um, I might have to do my process videos with my camera the way I had it over there and just try to zoom in closer so that way I'm not making a mess and um, wasting your all's time. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I like that page. I like how that turned out. I love the little button and um, oh, I love this fabric. So there it is. That is the, the front page and the inside cover. I think that's really pretty. I hope you guys like this. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and I am going to record another process video. I don't know how, um, they'll probably be uploaded one day after each other, but I wanna go ahead and try to get this journal finished and get you guys some ideas. So I hope you like this idea, I hope you try it out. Thank you for watching, you have a blessed day and I'll see you soon, bye.